Today's video will demonstrate the top-down design process. Hello, I'm James Helfrich. You often hear about top-down and bottom-up. Top-down is usually reserved for designing. We start with the most general part of the program and work away to more specifics. Bottom-up is usually reserved for building and debugging. We start with the most isolated function or class and work our way up to the more general. This video will demonstrate the top-down design process. The top-down design process is a design algorithm where the system is described generally, and then the main components are identified, and the sum components are identified, and so on, until the base elements are described. This algorithm is inherently recursive. The first step is to name the component. It seems trivial, but this is actually very challenging. Coming up with a name that completely and describes what the component does is often the first and most difficult step of the design process. If you can't come up with a good name, you probably don't understand what the component is all about. The second step is to identify the interfaces, namely what's the input and output into the component. The third step is to describe the component, and here we want to draft out the component in the pseudocode or flowchart or whatever design technique we want to use. Now, once we've designed it, we're probably going to have a few hand-waving things. Oh, this sub-operation must happen here or there. Well, we're going to identify those sub-components that we have not yet fully fleshed out. Now, we're just going to come up with a broad name for it, and then later we'll come up with the actual name and the interfaces and all the other things. Now, I got to say, is there more? If the answer is no, then we're finished. But if the answer is yes, then we continue and go through again and again and again. Now, there are two basic ways we can go through this. First is breadth first or depth first. First, we'll demonstrate breadth first. I'm going to start with main, and then I'll say the first component, second, and third are all the subcomponents that come from main. And then I'll say the first subcomponents, and then its children, the second, then its children, then the third, then its children. Notice I'm going from very general and working away to more specific. I never work on a subcomponent until its parent component is really understood. The second method is to do depth first. And here I'm going to start at main and go to the first and completely flush it out, and then go to the next, and then go to the next. Now, breadth first or depth first work equally well. In fact, you could do a mixture between the two. The most important thing is that we don't work on a component until its parent components is understood. This is the top-down chapter of the software design textbook.